Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome back to my workshop. And the job today is to see if I can make a zero clearance insert for my table saw. Let's get tinkering. So table saws generally don't come with a zero clearance insert plate. So this plate here has a gap between the edge of the blade and the plate. And that's to allow, I guess, for manufacturing variants in things like the width of the blade and um, the size of this plate and the position of the blade. If you're cutting short pieces that are quite thin, they can slip down here like this and either just fall in and therefore you've lost your piece because it gets mushed up by the blade spinning underneath or worse still, it falls in, hits the back of the blade and then comes flying out at you at 100 mile an hour, which obviously is going to cause an injury. So the purpose of a zero clearance insert is to ensure that there is no gap between the edge of the blade on the insert plate and therefore nothing can fall down and cause a problem. The first thing I need to do is take off the existing plate. I'm going to use this six millimeter piece of MDF for my insert plate. So I'm just gonna mark how wide it needs to be and I'm gonna cut it a little bit wider. I shall use my sliding table to cut this piece. I now need to take the plate off again so I can draw around it. I'm drawing around this piece so that I can just roughly cut the shape on the bandsaw. I now use some hot glue to attach the plate to the MDF. I can now use the router to trim it to size. I've aligned the fence so it's right up against the insert plate. I'm now going to push the MDF through the blade. I've removed the blade guard because I want to be able to see exactly when the MDF is lined up with the front of the plate and then stop the cut. I now need to cut a thin piece, the same thickness as the kerf that will go in the back of the new plate. I'm not actually going to cut all the way through this board because it will fall down. I just now need to glue the piece in. I need to cut a finger hole so that I can get the insert out once it's in place. I now need to mark the holes for the fixing screws. These now need to be drilled and countersunk. I'm making the holes about a millimetre bigger than they need to be, just to add a little bit of wiggle room. I'm now going to add some tiny screws around the perimeter underneath. These will act as levelling screws. Leveling is just a matter of trial and error, tweaking the screws and then retesting. On final touch is to add some water based red paint. With the plate in place, I now just need to cut through the rest of the slot by raising the blade while it's running. Now I wouldn't normally do a through cut without the blade guard in place. I'm just doing this to demonstrate cutting a thin strip with the zero clearance insert plate. Well this zero clearance insert plate was a lot of fun to make and it was really easy as well. I don't know why I left it so long to make it. If you've enjoyed this video then please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions then please leave them in the comments and I'll respond as soon as I can. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe as it really helps this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.